Right, hello, wine-drinking people. Today is Monday, the 3rd of March, or Tuesday, the 4th, I don't know, whatever day it is here, but we have been adding events to our calendar like mad the month of March. You may have noticed a few things just pop on the calendar, like this Francois Villard tasting Saturday, the 8th, the Saturday night, and then we got Giorgio Lovetti on Monday, the 10th, and then we have got Dante Mondavi uh, on the 11th, Tuesday night. So a lot of great stuff coming up the month of March giving you, our wine-drinking people, a lot of fun stuff to do and, you know, different wines to taste. That's my goal in life, to drink the world's greatest wines. That's why, you know, we have a producer like Francois in town. Uh, my buddy from Vinecraft called up and Florent asked me if I wanted to host an event here. And I said, man, I don't know enough about the Northern Rhone. You know, I know that I like the Syrahs from there and the best Viognier in the world from the Northern Rhone. You got Chateau Grier up there, which is its own appellation up all the way up top north. And then, uh, of course, Coat Roti, the most famous red, and then Hermitage. Well, both of them pretty equally famous, but just not a lot of producers brought into the country here. And uh, Francois Villard is relatively new here. He was in the restaurant business when he started his career in wine in uh, 1985 and then founded his own winery, decided he wanted to uh, uh, you know, work on that side of the business. 1991, I believe, built his own winery. It was completed in 97. And today he makes about 20,000 cases of wine and you know, most of it up there from the Northern Rhone. I think, uh, you know, Syrah, definitely the star in the Reds. And he's got some very affordable wines, you know, in, event, in addition to making some top-level wines like Cote Roti. He's also got some varietal Merlot, which uh, is around $15 a bottle that is pretty good. And uh, even though he's not 100% organic, they don't use uh, pesticides and only light herbicides if they have to. So pretty natural farming here and uh, you know these wines have got a real sense of place one of the things we love about Syrah from the Northern Rhone you know Syrah can be an easy wine to pick out in a brown bag tasting because it's dark color it's really rich fruit but it doesn't have the dry tannins that Cabernet Sauvignon has and the wines from the Northern Rhone have this certain wild animal quality to them and uh, they have that granite soil so they have a very distinct minerality as well. The Viognier's from here, very fresh, very balanced. You know, Viognier can be a little bit hot and a little oily in the New World wine producing countries of uh, California and uh, some other places, but in the Northern Rhone is where this grape is really a star. So check it out. Everything we're going to be serving with Francois on uh, Saturday evening here at the Wine Watch. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.